In the previous lecture, we understand how to work with files in Node. Now, let's take a look at what is routing. Once you understand how to create the HTTP server using Node, it's important to understand how to make it do things based on the path that the user has navigated to. Performing task on a particular path is called routing. Let me repeat the sentence. Performing task on a particular path is called routing. Let me show you a very simple example to understand what is routing in Node. So let me first show you the syntax of routing. You have if statement and you check the path with the request URL. If the requested URL is matched with this path, we're going to execute this if statement and return the response. So this is a very basic concept of routing. Let me show you how you can work with routing in Node. So we're going to create a simple example here. So I'm going to first create here a constant variable and call a module HTTP and using require function, I'm going to require the HTTP module. Just after that, here I'm going to create the server. So as you know, I'm going to create the server using create server method. To the first argument, we're going to specify function, specify request and response. Now, once we have request and response inside this function, here I'm going to say if request dot URL. I'm going to call a method of request. Oops, let me just get rid of this arrow. So I'm going to call here a method request dot URL and I'm going to compare it with the path which we are going to specify in the browser URL section. So here I'm going to specify equal to sign and in the single code, I'm going to specify forward slash. This forward slash refers to the root path and inside this if statement, I'm going to say return and I'm going to just return here a function. So I'm going to just call a function index and pass request and response just like this. And just for that down here, I'm going to call a method listen and I'm going to specify the port name 8000. If you want, you can change this port name as well. Now, as you know, we don't have this function in this program. So let me just create this function. So up here, I'm going to create this function. So I'm going to say here function index and I'm going to pass two parameters to it. As you know, we have this request and response parameter to this index function. So here I'm going to say request and response. So I'm going to pass here two parameters and then I'm going to return the response to the user. So here I'm going to say response dot whitehead 200. So this is the successful response code and then I'm going to specify here response dot end and I'm going to end the response with node routing text. Save the changes and now let me explain this code. I'm going to first import the HTTP module to create the HTTP server. So using this method create server, I'm going to create the HTTP server. I'm going to listen that server on port 8000. In this create server, I'm going to create if statement. If the user specify a root path in the browser URL, I want to return this index function. And to this index function, we pass request and response object. So when we call this index function, it's going to call this function with this request and response parameter. And inside it, I'm going to have this response message. I want to print this message using this route. So this is what we call a route. Let me just save the changes and show you the result first. I'm going to open my terminal. And here on my terminal, I'm going to just type node index.js. When I press enter, this statement will start this server on port 8000. As you know, we did not specify any console message with this listen method. So I'm not going to get anything here. But the server is now started. Now let me just open this 8000 port. So I'm going to open my browser. And on my browser, I'm going to just search for this port. So here I'm going to search for localhost colon 8000. Just like this. When I press enter, as you can notice, you're going to have a message node routing. So this is the root path of your route. So as you can notice here, we just specify here forward slash. This indicates when the user send request using the URL of the browser, just check this if condition. If it is true, then return this index function. Now, as you can see here, we just specify here forward slash. This indicates the root path. So this will execute this index function and print this message. Now, what if you have different path? For example, let me just create here another path. So here I'm going to say if request.url is equal to in the single code, I'm going to specify forward slash and specify here about us. 
and inside this if statement i'm going to call a function where i'm going to send the response to this request so down here i'm going to create a function so here i'm going to say function about us and inside this function and in the parenthesis here i'm going to say request and the second parameter is going to be response so i'm going to say here response dot end and i'm going to just specify this is about page save the changes and now let me just call this function here inside this if statement here i'm going to say return about us and then specify request and response parameter save the changes and restart the server so i'm going to press ctrl c and execute the server again when i reload the browser i'm going to have no routing as a result but when i specify forward slash with about us i'm going to have a different message here you can notice i'm going to have this is about page so this is the different routing path we specify here about us route path and return a different response so using routing you can return different response to the user depending on the route path so using this technique you can route the user on different pages creating route like this would add a massive amount of callback functions in a big project so let me just clean this up and show you a very simple way to create a routing so instead of these functions i'm going to create here a constant variable so up here i'm going to create a constant variable routes is equal to and specify object to it and inside this object i'm going to specify key so here i'm going to specify single quote forward slash as you know this is my root route and to this root route i'm going to specify a function so here i'm going to specify function and here i'm going to specify name to it index specify request and response parameter and inside this function as you know i have these two statements i'm going to cut it right from here and paste that inside this function like this just for that let's create a next route and i'm going to specify here single quote forward slash about us so this is our second route and here i'm going to specify this function so i'm going to copy this function and paste it here like this and i'm going to just get rid of these functions from here and just out of that down here instead of calling this if statement here i'm going to just say if request dot url in routes and then i'm going to specify curly braces to start the if statement and i'm going to just return routes in the square bracket i'm going to specify request dot url and in the parenthesis here i'm going to pass request and response so as you can notice this is super easy to create this route using this technique now let me explain this code now here what i did i just created if statement and specify request url in routes so this url request will match with these keys if you find these keys in the url we will execute this if statement inside this if i'm going to just return the route and using this square bracket i'm going to get a specific route so for example if you request for the root route it will execute this root route section and then i'm going to pass parameter to this response and request parameter using this argument so if you call the root route it will execute this root route section with these both parameters now let me just save the changes and restart the server so i'm going to just restart the server let me just check this code is successfully running or not as you can notice this code is successfully running so when you request for the root route using this url the browser will first check for the url using this if statement if the code finds the root route inside this variable it's going to execute that route so here i have the root route so it's going to execute this root route function as you can see we just return the route with the requested url with the parameters using this route you can create a different api you can return different html pages and you can do lot more things this is just a basic example of routes we are going to learn how to work with routes later in this course when you deploy your app to the node.js specified hosted environment this environment usually offer a port environment variable that you can use to run your server on changing the port number to process dot env dot port allows you to access that application environment variable so here instead of this 8000 i'm going to just specify process 
dot env dot port just like this so this will use the port environment hosted variable and just for that you can specify the default port name as well using double pipe operator like this here i'm going to specify 8000 so when we deploy the node app we use this process dot env dot port variable we'll talk about this port variable later in this course so i hope you understand how to work with routing in node next we'll talk about path module 